Genie, I wish for you to make me a prince. A whole new world. Don't you dare close your eyes. All right, I'm not Aladdin, but could you be Aladdin? Seriously, can someone just be Aladdin already? Anybody, Aladdin, magic carpet ride? Anyone? Because apparently that role and Jasmine's are open right now as The Hollywood Reporter exclusively reports, Disney continues to struggle to find stars for its live action movie. The studio and director Guy Ritchie launched a global casting call in March to find the stars for the musical based on the hit 1992 animated film about a street kid who teams with a genie to woo the Princess Jasmine. Disney, Ritchie, and casting director Randy Hiller brought on casting agents around the world, from London to Egypt to Abu Dhabi and India for what sources say is a massive global search. Around 2,000 actors and actresses have read for the lead roles. But finding a male lead in his 20s who can act and sing has proven difficult, especially since the studio wants someone of Middle Eastern or Indian descent. The original casting call specified that production was slated to begin by July, but the search has dragged on, with Disney and Ritchie having to go back to the drawing board multiple times. While the studio had interest in Dev Patel and Riz Ahmed, the male lead will likely be a newcomer. Newcomer, I'm ready, Disney. I can show you the world. Should I stop? This is a magic cardboard ride. Yeah. Sources say the studio is eyeing Power Rangers actress Naomi Scott or Indian actress Tara Sutaria to play Jasmine, but can't lock the deal until the male lead has been selected since chemistry is so important to the story. Will Smith is signed on to play the genie, and sources say the studio is after known names for the role of the villain Jafar. As the search has dragged, the studio has brought on two movie musical veterans to consult on the project. Mark Platt, who has a strong background in producing musicals and worked on Disney's upcoming Mary Poppins Returns, and Chris Montan, a longtime executive music producer for Disney's animated projects such as Pocahontas, Toy Story, Hercules, and Frozen. The lengthy casting process could be a promising sign, however. Disney has had success with previous extensive casting searches for its live action fare, from Lily James as Cinderella, to Daisy Ridley as Rey in Star Wars The Force Awakens, and insiders say the studio's delay in landing Aladdin is due to its determination to get the casting right for such a beloved and iconic character. Live action adaptations of its classic animated films has been a key strategy for the studio, and it's paid off, with hits including Cinderella, Maleficent, and Beauty and the Beast. With shooting for Aladdin now planned to start in August, Disney may have to use all three of its wishes to find its diamond in the rough. All right, what do you think about Disney's struggle to find their Aladdin and Jasmine? And are you out there? Is it you? Hit us up in the comments and let me know. And if you are the Jasmine they need, tell me, princess. Now when did you last let your heart decide? Okay, I promise I'm done with the songs, guys. For the Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Paul Gustavo, and this whole episode has been like, I don't know, sort of just like an indescribable feel. This is not a carpet. See you guys.